Hey Kansas City, I don't know about you, but on a cold day in November, I love a good spicy soup. Here's your chicken tortilla soup. Hey Kansas City, it's Chef Tom. This is the Manual Career Training Center. We're at the Cardinal Cafe. You know, last week we made a really cool Mexican pozole soup. And I wanted to feature one more soup from Mexico that I really love. This is a chicken tortilla. And there's going to be some subtle differences between the two soups. Um, of course, we have our garlic, our onion, green onion, black beans, hominy cilantro, but this time we have corn, we have canned diced green chilies, and we have tomato, and we have really nice fresh tomato. Okay, I love fresh tomato in the soup, so just like last week when we go to making this, we're going to get anything that needs to be cut before our chicken done, okay? So when we're using fresh tomatoes, we want to go ahead and cut an X on the bottom of each of these tomatoes, right? Now, I'm gonna bring over a pot of extremely hot water. And I'm gonna set these tomatoes in this water. Woo, watch the fingers. Okay, and we're just gonna let this sit in here for a few minutes while we start cutting our onion. Okay, just like last week, when we take the papers off these onions, we want to make sure that we're down to the flesh of the onion. We don't want any paper left on our onion. All right, see this one, the paper's still there. So we're just going to take one more layer from him. We're going to go ahead, we're going to get rid of these. I'll be right back. And bring my garbage a little closer to me. All right, we're going to chop up these onions. Always being careful to know where your fingers are in accordance to the blade. Always being careful that you are watching exactly what you are doing. You are not looking around while you're cutting up an onion. You are looking at the onion. Okay? Well, these tomatoes, we're just going to turn them over in here because the reason that we're putting the tomatoes in the boiling water and cutting the X's on the bottom is it's going to help the skin come off. And you can see here on the top of this one, the skin's already pulling back, okay? Because we don't want that tomato skin in our soup. It's not that it's bad. It's just I came from a school where you just didn't have tomato skin in your soup. Okay. We're going to get these onions in our little container here. Okay, we've got onions and garlic in here, right? Now, we're going to go ahead, we're going to cut a jalapeno. So, what do we need when we're cutting a jalapeno? We need a glove. Jonathan, would you be kind enough to hand me those gloves right there? <laughs> Jonathan does his best never to get in a shot. I swear one of these days, I'm going to have him up here assisting me. So we're going to get this glove on because like we talked about last week, 
when we're cutting up a jalapeno, the oils of the jalapeno and the capsaicin, the part that makes the jalapeno hot, those oils will get in your fingers and you touch your eye, you touch your face, you'll be able to feel that on your face and you just don't want that, okay? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut these guys like so. We're just gonna set this guy off to the side. We're gonna turn our tomatoes quickly. And you're starting to be able to see that skin really pull back on the tomatoes. We're just gonna give these guys some little slices so that we can use them as garnish. Look at that. Fancy little baby slices. We're gonna take these couple big ones. We're just gonna cut them in half a couple times. Oh, there's a big one sneaking around. Okay. We're gonna put that right in one of these little lids. Now these other two, we're gonna chop up for inside our soup. Okay, we're gonna put those in with the onions and garlic. And actually, we're gonna go ahead and fire up our machine and get our oil in there. Because after we get everything cut, we're gonna quickly get our chicken done and get it in the pan, okay? Always watching our fingers, making sure that we're being careful. Now, it's time to cut up our tomatoes. So I'm, I'm not gonna just reach into a pot of really hot water. I'm gonna grab my spoon. I'm gonna pull out the tomato. This tomato is really nice and hot. I'm just gonna get in here with my paring knife and take out this core, okay? That's all it is to taking out the core of the tomato. You're gonna take your knife, you see that? We're just gonna peel off this peeling. Comes real easy and that's why you made that cross cut on top, okay? That's exactly why. And when you take out the core, what happens is you've got a really good swipe at all your peeling coming off at once. Okay? That's exactly what you want. You just want all this peeling to come off of here. Okay? Look at that. That quick, there's a peeled tomato. And I almost did it. I almost reached right in there after this other one. Okay? Again, we're just going to take our paring knife. We're gonna cut right around this core. And I mean these tomatoes do, they come out of here hot. And again, because we went ahead and took out that core, this peeling comes off really easy. Just like that. Okay, we're just gonna set these guys aside here. We're gonna take our French knife. We're just gonna get these guys cut up quick. Turn them, put this guy back here. Okay, you get them right in here. We're gonna give our oil a little move around here. She's getting hot, it's perfect what we want for that chicken as soon as we get it cut up. Stack those guys up there. Turn it, just hit it again. Okay, we'll get this guy in here. We're gonna get rid of this glove. We're gonna move everything off of our board so that we have some nice physical separation. We're gonna get rid of this water. And guess what? 
we're going to start cutting up this chicken. Because our pan is really smoking hot. And, you know, everything we do, we're on a little timetable. Okay? Because the hotter that pan gets, the more this chicken's going to caramelize the second it goes in the pan. Ooh. Well, this is one tough chicken breast. But I guarantee you, once it cooks down in this oil and with all of our vegetables, it's going to be perfect in the soup. And the thing is, if you have a tough piece of chicken, just slow down. It's not going to hurt a thing. Just slow down a little. Okay, there's our chicken. We're going to move this oil around a little one more time. We're going to get this chicken in this pan. Look at that. Woo! We're going to get rid of this glove. And we're going to start browning this chicken. I'll tell you what, as this chicken browns, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a quick break. And we won't let anything happen here that you're not going to see. We'll be right back. I chose manual because it's challenging and fun and it can help me with college. I chose manual because I wanted to get a jump start in my career with culinary arts. I chose manual to acquire skills I'd use in real life. I chose manual because I want to be an ER doctor and being an EMT is my first step. Kickstart your future today at Manual Career and Technical Center. Manual is open for all 11th and 12th grade students in both Kansas and Missouri. Learn more today at enrollkc.org slash manual or call 816-418-5200. Hey Kansas City, here we are making this amazing chicken tortilla soup. You can see that our chicken is caramelizing in our pan. You can hear that amazing sear going on. But guess what? We're going to turn this pan up even more. We're going to get this baby hot, hot, hot. You have a little look in here. This chicken is cooking like nobody's business. So, let's get our onion, jalapeno, and garlic in here. Reach right in there with your spoon, get every bit of that goodness out. This is the way it's supposed to sound, Kansas City. It's supposed to be sizzling, it's supposed to be working. We're just gonna move this whole thing over a little, recenter a little bit. This is smelling so good, it always does at this point. Let's get these tomatoes in here, huh? Now, once these tomatoes go in, it's gonna give us a little bit of liquid in our pan. So we're gonna cook these babies for five, six minutes. You know, the essence of our flavors for this soup are coming from what we have in here right now. Let's grab our oregano. Get that in right now. Okay, I'm going to jump over here to the cart and grab a little salt and get that in. Now the one thing is you want to be careful with the salt when you're using tomatoes. Tomatoes carry a large amount of sodium. Okay. You can't believe how cool this is right now. Really. Let's get some cilantro in here. We're just going to put all that cilantro in there. Oh man, I, I know I always say it, but I am so thrilled when I put in a fresh herb or a spice and that pungent aroma just comes up and gets you right in the nose. 
Okay, so if you have a look at this, our chicken is cooked. You know, we've got a little liquid from our tomatoes boiling out, and that's fine. So guess what? Let's start adding all of our vegetables. We've got our delicious corn, the hominy, the black beans. Now, as much as I love green chilies, I'm still only going to add about half of what I got in here. But I, could, I can always add more later. But just like I was saying earlier, I can add it, but I can't take it out, okay? We're going to let this start to get hot in here. And on, honest to goodness, look at all of the color in this soup. It's incredible. Okay, now we've got everything cooking along, just chugga chugga. We're going to go ahead, we're going to add this chicken stock. Right to, oh, just a little bit more. Something like that, okay? Now, just like last week with the pizzoli, what needs to happen is we need to give this a minute for our heat to catch up to everything and to get a boil on. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and take a break. I'm going to let this get to a boil, clean up my station, set up my plates, and when we come back, We'll start getting ready for the final presentation. We'll be right back. I chose manual because it's challenging and fun and it can help me with college. I chose manual because I wanted to get a jump start in my career with culinary arts. I chose manual to acquire skills I'd use in real life. I chose manual because I want to be an ER doctor and being an EMT is my first step. Kickstart your future today at Manual Career and Technical Center. Manual is open for all 11th and 12th grade students in both Kansas and Missouri. Learn more today at enrollkc.org slash manual or call 816-418-5200. Hey Kansas City, here we are back with our chicken tortilla soup. I gotta tell you what, I know that I say it time and time again, but this soup smells so good. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this a final little taste before we dish up. Here's the fact of the matter. You have to taste what you're making. You have to taste what you're making four and five times throughout the process at every point so that you know what you're doing. I'm gonna turn this down one more spot because I'm going to taste this and you can see that it is boiling. But we have to make sure that our flavors have married. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you right now. I don't succeed at everything I do the first time. I don't. Okay. I have to practice. But this, pretty darn good. So what we're going to do so we're going to take a couple of these nice homemade tortillas. We're just going to give them a little crush up in the bottom of the bowl, okay? Then we're going to get into this soup. We're going to go right in there, right on top of those tortillas. I mean, this is colorful soup, hey? This looks amazing. And remember, just like last week with the pozzoli, just gonna put a little more in there. Okay. Just like with the pozzoli, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some fat garnish up on here. I love garnish on soup. I love garnish on everything I do, okay? A little bit of cilantro, a little jalapeno. We're going to get this green onion. Oh, I should put a jalapeno on both of them, shouldn't I? We're going to get these green onions inside the rim here. Okay. We're going to get some avocado right over here. 
little avocado right over here. We're going to wipe the rest of the avocado off our hands quick. We're going to get some Monterey Jack cheese right here in the center, right? And then to finish this whole thing off, we're going to get some amazing little tortilla fritas. Okay? These are just some little tortillas that we cooked up today. And give them a little crunch down. Put them right up on there. Get one or two more for this one. I'm going to tell you what, Kansas City. This is probably one of my new favorite soups. And every time I do a new soup, it becomes one of my favorites. But this, this is your chicken tortilla soup. And you know what? Just in case, let's throw a little slab of lime on the side. Just in case somebody's just like me and they got to have that little hint of lime in their soup. I'm going to tell you what. Like I said, this is really turning quickly into one of my favorite soups. I hope you make it. I hope you love it. And really, if you do, take a picture of it and send it to me at T-B-E-L-I-S-L-E -E at kcpublicschools.org. Come back and see us soon.